Time to add transitions and animations to your content videos. To begin with, start with clicking on the Transition tab on top of the screen. As you can see, there is a range of transitions that you can choose from. Simply choose one that you wish to put on your slides. Let's go with the Push option. Now if you go to the Effect options, it gives you an additional effect to the Push option. You can set the direction of the effect from bottom, left, right, and top. What's more, you can allocate the time taken for the effect to be applied. You can set it to appear slower or faster than the default one second timing. Just change the duration and click on the effect to see it in action. Should you find the effect suitable to your content, simply click Apply to All, and the same effect will be applied to all the slides. That sums up the creation of transitions to your slides. Now it's time to add animations to your text. First of all, click on the text box. Next, look for the Animation tab on top and a set of animation will be shown. Pick any animation that you would like to use for your text, for example, Fly In. Similarly, the Effect option is available if you want to change the direction of the animation. In addition to that, click on the Animation pane. If you have more than one animation in a slide, you need to arrange the sequence to show which comes first, second, and so on. For example, you would want the first animation to start with previous, meaning the text will appear automatically after the whole slide emerges. You can set its individual timing and delay if you want to. Let's add another text animation. Choose an animation for the next text box and watch how the right pane adds its sequence at second. Finally, set it to start after previous. This will allow it to appear automatically after the first appearance. That is how you add transitions and animations to your PowerPoint slides.